Hello everyone and welcome back all of you in the session introduction to Java servlet. So first let us take a look to the topics covered in the last session. So in last session you have learned about how to download Eclipse and how to download and configure Apache Tomcat server in Eclipse. So these two things we have done in the last session and what the thing I am going to discuss in the current session. So in this session you will learn about how to create the servlet program in Eclipse IDE. What are the steps you have to follow for creation of servlet in Eclipse IDE and how to write the first program hello world using servlet in eclipse id this is the agenda of this session so first let me understand how to create eclipse in how to create servlet in eclipse ide so you can see here creating servlet in eclipse ide so you can see here how to get it so i will tell you step by step in eclipse how to get and how to create servlet in eclipse id so first you will open the eclipse and eclipse id is looks like this so you will go to the file click on new and you will click on dynamic web project so this is the first step how to create servlet in eclipse ide so you will go to the file menu you will go to the new you will go to your dynamic web projects sometimes this dynamic web projects is missing in this directory so if you do not see dynamic web project option in eclipse then you have to refer and you have to listen the session carefully so sometimes you can see here if you do not see dynamic web projects option in eclipse so how to fix dynamic web projects missing in eclipse how to do it so you can see for fixing this problem you will go to help you will go to help and click on install new software so let me go to the eclipse click on help and you will click on install new software so when you click on install new software so this installation window will be open this installation window will be open now what you have to do after this step 2 is you have to copy this link http download.eclipse.org releases oxygen so you have to copy this link and you have to paste this link to that install window and one of the important thing you need to remember and you have to note that the link i have provided would work on eclipse oxygen only so change the link according to your eclipse version if your eclipse version is oxygen you will write oxygen if your eclipse version have some different name you will use that different name for example for the eclipse mask the link would be like this you will replace oxygen with mask so you can see here so right now just I am copying this link you can see you can copy this link and you will open this and you will paste here and you can find also here you can paste here this one when you will paste this link in the install window this progress bar will will be open like this and it will take 5 to 10 seconds to ready it and in this 
window it will show what you want to download and install and make sure your computer must be connected with internet because when you click this link it will search the packages on on the internet on the web and it will display some list here so you can see here some names are displayed here application development framework business intelligence reporting and charting you will come to the down and you have to see this one web xml java e and osgi enterprise development and you will click on this you have to check this item and one thing you need to remember your computer must be connected with internet because eclipse will download all the packages from the internet so when you click on this and after this you will click on the next button so when you click on the next button when you click on this next button this web.xml.java e and osgi enterprise development package will be download it and it will be sh shown here and it will take near about 10 minutes 10 minutes to 15 minutes according to your internet connectivity speed and when this package will be downloaded it will display this button finish this finish button will be activated when you click on finish it will ask you to restart your computer so after downloading this package it will ask you to restart your eclipse to restart your computer also if it will ask you to restart eclipse so, so you need to restart you need to restart your eclipse and you also need to restart your computer so right now i am not clicking on next button if i if i will click on the next button the package will be or package downloading process will be start because i have already downloaded this package so if i will again download it will take some time so right now i am not downloading this package so i am just clicking on cancel button so if the eclipse will not restart automatically so you can go to the file menu and you can click on the restart button so when you click on the restart when you click on the restart the eclipse ide will be restart and it will takes 5 to 10 seconds and eclipse ide will be restarted so when this eclipse ide will be restart then it will looks like this and you can check in the file when you click on the file you can check in new and you can go to what dynamic web projects you will click on dynamic web projects so this is the process how to fix the problem of when dynamic web project will not display in the eclipse so this is the process you have to follow this and after this you will learn how to create the hello world program using servlet all about how to fix the problem how to fix the problem if the dynamic web project is missing in your eclipse so you can see i have shown all the steps here you need to follow the from step 1 to step 4 and you can see here wait for some time and then a pop up would ask you permission to restart the eclipse restart it and you would find the dynamic web project option under project list so that is all about how to fix the problem if dynamic web project is not displaying in eclipse id so that is all about this session
in the next session you will understand how to create the first program or how to create the hello world program using servlet thank you for watching this session thank you very much